Hey friends, it's Leslie. Good morning. I hope that everyone's doing well. It is Saturday, February 23rd, 2019. And I woke up this morning happy and blessed and all those energized and ready to go. Um, it's almost 11 o'clock. I've already dropped my daughter off at work. I've been to the post office. I've been to the library. Now I'm back at home. I've had my coffee and I am energized and ready to start working. Um, Saturday and Sundays are my busiest days of the week. Um, since I'm full time, I decide to work a lot on the weekend because that's when a lot of people are home themselves and they buy. And I came just to um, real quick, throw a couple ideas out to you. First of all, if you're not working on some type of schedule and you're full time, even if you're not full time and you're part time and you work a full time job and you wanna figure out how I can get the most in my time in, I suggest that you um, create some type of schedule. I do like a calendar type of schedule, which is Monday through Sunday, or for some people, Sunday through Friday. It just depends. Um, Monday, real quick, I'll tell you, Monday is basically like a half day work, half day rest for me. I get up in the morning and I package up all my packages because I usually make a decent amount of sales on the weekend. And my husband takes them to the post office. He's a reseller, so he'll do his eBay and Poshmark and get everything out. We usually have a huge bag of things to send. That's not bragging. That's just kind of letting you know um, because of the work that we do over the weekend and during the week. We do have packages to send on Monday. So, And then after my packages go out, I can do what I want for the rest of the day, which I usually like to watch TV. I love television. Um... So Netflix, Hulu, um, CBS All Access, I catch up on all my shows, or I'll read, or I'll take a nap, or I'll do whatever I want to do on Monday. Tuesday is when I source if I do go out, um, and I chose Tuesday because here in Delaware, um, there's a lot of um, $2 Tuesdays. Uh, we do have a lot of perk sales, but like twice a month is $2 Tuesdays, so where everything all the clothes at least are two dollars and so i try to take advantage of those sales and then i buy my items i come home i put everything on a rack i sort everything in category because i do sell hard goods on macari as well and the items that are clothing i steam i photograph i don't take measurements until i sit down i that works for me when i'm in front of the computer and then i inventory so i take about 10 items on a tuesday and bring them upstairs, list them, package them up, and then I put them in the inventory. And then if I want to add another 10 items, I'll go through my own sourcing, which is the items that I currently have and things that I want to relist. And if they have to be steamed again to take better pictures, that's what I do. So that's Tuesday. Wednesday is the day that I do anything internet-based, which is my blog, um, my website, I'm um, catching up on anything like that, um, making phone calls, doctor's appointments, and things like that. Thursday is another sourcing day, which I usually reserve for the bins. I don't know why, but Thursday is the day that I pick, but I only go to the bins every six weeks anyway. So um, what I'll do is I'll take some of the other items from Tuesday. But also, even though Wednesday and the other days are my days, I will take from Tuesday and take a couple like five a day and list something like that so if I didn't make that clear I do list from Tuesday sourcing all week and then if I go to the bins I just get enough for six weeks because I don't like to go I've developed some really bad allergies um, so I can only deal with the bins um, for about an hour I'm not a big giant sourcer I'm in and out I've always been that way maybe because I've had when I had children and I had to go into the store I never stay in a store longer than two hours. I don't go to three and four stores. I just can't do it. So I figure out a system where I can go in and grab what I need and get in and out. And um, it just works for me. And then on Friday is when I do food shopping and take care of all of the shopping for the household. Um, I may treat myself to a coffee at Wawa or something like that, but then I'm back at home. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm working. 100% um, um, offer to likers and things like that um, and that's that so the second part is if you're not making sales think about doing something different um, first going in and just in looking at your closet your Macari your eBay and figuring out what's going on why aren't things selling for Poshmark, if you have stale items, go in and figure out, one, if you want to keep them. Maybe when you started a year ago, it was an item 
that you thought was cute and you thought was sell. If it's not selling, figure out why and figure out another thing to do with it. If it's been sitting for a year, then one of the obvious things to do is to take some new photographs and relist it. If you don't want to relist it, you can take all of your old items and create mystery boxes or you can do Facebook Marketplace, which I find is very resourceful. Um, a place where people locally, you put an ad up and then someone will buy your items. So that's a good way to get rid of it. Donate it. Donate it back to Goodwill or find a place for, I try to find like shelters or businesses that provide clothing for people who are trying to go back to work or get job interviews and things like that. So find, that's your way. If you don't volunteer, that's a way of giving back to the community. So first, going through and looking at those stale items. And then second, if the things that you have aren't selling, and if you're thinking about the other things that other people are selling, like name brands and things like that, and you don't have the money to continue to go out and source, other ideas are graphic t-shirts. Um, in my closet, I sell a little bit of everything, and that's just because that's what I like to do. I sell graphic t-shirts. I sell a lot of bathing suits. The summer and the spring are coming up. You can get into shorts. You can make your closet a specialty closet. You can get into vintage. You can sell children's items. You can just sell men's items. You can just sell women's items. A big thing that sells for me, which I have a lot of, at least 25% of my closet is plus items. A lot of women don't like to shop online. I mean, sorry, they don't like to go to the store. So online is the best place for them. I, When I go sourcing, if I pick out 10 items, at least four of those items are plus size. And I have a large collection of plus size items. So a lot of people, very seldom does a person just come and buy one. I have such a nice collection that a lot of bundling goes on with plus items. And with plus sizes, women aren't as concerned about the brand name as they are about the quality and the way that the item looks and is it something that's going to fit them and make them look really good so if if you want a, a, some, a new niche try plus size items and like i said for like young people graphic t-shirts sell i sell a lot of graphic t-shirts i heard that on a video somewhere when my men's items weren't moving i just started going out and my husband bringing me graphic t-shirts i have about 30 um piled up in, in a bin next to me that i need to go through and list and bands, um, funny sayings, um, that's, you know, everybody throws on a t-shirt. And so it depends on the quality. I, I have some t-shirts starting at 20. I don't want to go any higher than that. Some people sell them for really high, but I don't want to do that. And then I have them down to like $10. And I just sold like one. It's been sitting for a while for $8 and I put it in, shipped it today. So it's not a big deal. But if you want to try to figure out, you know, what can move, try something different. Nothing's going to move until you move. And that's the way that I look at it. Don't worry about what other folks are doing. I don't. <laughs> I probably say that a lot because I don't. It's like everybody has a different story. You don't know what it took for the person who's making a lot of money, who has piles and piles of boxes, what it took for them to get to this place. Last year, they were probably struggling and they heard something or something clicked inside their head and motivated them to move. And by them putting in the work, their business grew. So what you're seeing is the seeds that have been planted and already grown for them. So what you have to do now is plant your seeds and water them and do the work on your, your own garden. You know, if you want to get into that type of thing. Um, I am not doing what, so, like maybe the superstars of Posh are doing, but I think I do very well because I'm doing the work. And I made the commitment to stay full time. So what I do is I work full time. I work more full time in this business than I did at my job. So if you want something to grow for you, you got to plant the seed and you got to nurture it, you know, and like the saying goes, you know, the grass is green on the other side. But if you water your grass, it'll be just as green, just as pretty, just as plush. You'll want to lay down and then have a good time. So I encourage you to just think about what could work for you. If you put in the work, my thing is put work, work, work. If you work, it will grow. Don't go online all day going, asking questions like, how is it going to work? What do I need to do? You know, if I can help you, I can. But once I give you the information, you have to decide if you're going to use it and take it to grow. I thank you for looking at my videos. I appreciate you. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. DM me if you have any questions. Take care.